It just had to have. Mm. It just had to have its last hurrah. Uh, what were we talking about? You were asking. You were asking. Ah, yes. Um, his eyes flit away from you. Uh, as though he's like listening to something else for uh, a second. And he says, uh, no. No one in this congregation has had a child in many years. Was that uh, your attack dog? Life or your teeth? Yeah, and just sort of shrug helplessly. But yes, um, in general, there's just some interest in finding out details about this person, uh, and I'm the one who's been asked upon for it. Shrug. Um, regardless, if, if you know nothing of it, then that's perfectly fine. That in and of itself is information, and... Quite useful and very appreciated. It's alright with you, I'll be hanging around in the area just to make sure that she doesn't turn up. Uh, and then on my way. He nods. Bow my head politely and return to sitting on the pew I was sat in before. Mind your friend, though. Uh, yeah, well, there. He seems to have a bit of a. I won't say attitude, but. No. Obliviousness. Eva will kick down the door and go, Oh, fuck, are fuck are you, you up! Down? You fucking start at the werewolf jokes! Uh, no, he doesn't actually. Yes. I, I take it it's just the nature of, of feeling challenged, I suppose? I didn't hear the conversation from where I was. Yeah, the nature of the beast? Very territorial. Yep. Yeah. Up doho hoing at your own joke. I hear I can hear it. I can feel Nobody it. was doho hoing. I can feel it from guard. <laughs> See it came eventually. Only because you encouraged it. Only because you tickled the prostate. A sensible chuckle. All right, so he is going to head into a back room. Yep, all right, and now, yeah, return to my pew. By the way, I activate werewolf senses. Okay. Are you just hanging outside? Yep. Don't really have the best stealthing skills, so, you know. He's literally standing outside the church waiting. Okay. Um, about a half hour later, like, still no sign of this person. Um, the number of, like, vampires entering the place seems to have stopped. Um... Uh, Jesse, you'd have been given, like, one last, you know, gesture if you'd like to join, but no, uh, no pressure to do so. No, I'll, I'll give an yeah. apologetic headshake. Um, but, 
and uh, the uh, Alexei will uh, DCL. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you've got your werewolf senses on. Um, Alexei just sort of appears right next to you. <gasps> mm. it, it, if if Darian were here, he'd uh, be like, "Oh yeah, obfuscate." Nice. Yeah. Um, I'll just kind of go like, hmm. Yeah, he's got his arms crossed. He's like, uh, so, oh, you're getting pancakes. I thought you were enjoying the congregation. I was, but, uh, you know, a lot of talk from the flock here. It's just us. We can dispense with all the bullshit. You scared people off, you know. I'm just standing here, waiting exactly. for a friend to carry off their business. Standing right outside. Uh, a lot of nervous vampires inside, you know. They have nothing to fear. There's a lot of them and only one of me. I mean them no harm. No, uh, not too worried about that. Wait, but is this know, actually a black thing? If we cause a scene here, means we gotta do some cover-ups. Money gets thrown around. Time, effort, wasted. You didn't answer my question. No, it's not a black. thing. I hate all you people. Uh, equally. You, you had to. You said that last part a little late, there, friend. Listen, so it's I'm a weird thing, okay? I am uh-huh. helping one of your kind with it on with something that they've been given from other high up. I, I mind you. Yeah. You're helping a servant. That doesn't really give you a whole lot of credence here. Suppose it doesn't. Point is, I'm here as an ally, not an enemy. I don't know what yeah, everybody I'm... else is saying, but they can keep talking. I'll be gone. I don't tomorrow. have a gun to your head or nothing. I'm just uh I'm just politely asking. Then I'm going to have to very politely say that I'm not leaving, at least not for tonight. You won't see me again around here, t- and if you do, it'll be on much more official business. So just, you know, calm down for the single night, go back in the church and enjoy your day. Well, night. See? Yeah. Not really. Not really gonna happen, is it? If I'm... I if I came around to your place, I was just hanging around your I don't know what you call it a den, something like that. Probably. I'm just like, hey, don't worry. I'm just watching. I'm waiting for something. Don't worry about me. You do your werewolf shenanigans. Well, first off, that's racist. Second off, I would invite you inside to come hang along, um, to come along and hang out with my family. Everybody's welcome as long as they don't cause trouble. I After highly all, doubt that. I live in a neighborhood where I harbor criminals, thugs, and refugees, all to help them find a better place in life. Vampires don't really scare me in comparison. Wait, just invite everyone to watch your werewolf stuff? No, I mean, the point is, I'm trying to create a better neighborhood, which means tolerance and acceptance, not jumping to conclusions and chasing off everybody who you don't like to be around. He looks a little confused at this change of topic from talking about 
like your werewolf den to like your neighborhood. Hey, you're the one who brought it up. Listen, the point is I understand that this church is probably very sacred ground for you and your kind. Will not interfere in the rules. Safe of haven. Of People course. need to know they're safe here. With you here, they don't feel safe. <sighs> okay. I'm All gonna right. ask you real nicely. His eyes t kind of glow a bit. And he says, Why don't you go get some pancakes? And, uh, gonna use an ability. Nice. <gasps> so, pancakes right. starting to sound real good right about now. You know, you know pancakes are super delicious. I'm gonna take you up on this. I would like to see what I have to counter roll if that is possible. Let's see. What is your resolve plus primal urge? Six. Damn. He's full of urges. I I'm I'm <laughs> complete I'm maxed out on resolve even though I only have one primal urge. Hmm. Let's see. He's gonna have to pull out all the stops and uh, probably spend a willpower. I will counter spend a willpower. You cannot. Oh. You are. You don't get to roll anything. You just get to levy a penalty. Hey, minus six penalty. Intelligence, mm. expression, and dominate. I, I. Oh, he's Ventrue. This makes so much more sense. <laughs> he's got dominate. He just yeah. has dominate. Well, I dominate not isn't exclusive. necessarily be Ventrue. True. I just that and just... pretend you don't know shit at all. Oh, he also just... has obfuscate. Oh, it's just meant something about the ego. I would point out, Obfuscate is one of the ones anyone can get. It's not clan law. But it's not but a venture really. one. But moving on. No, no, that was not clan law. Dude. Do, 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 do. Uh... <laughs> Plus willpower minus your obscene amounts of resolve. Let's see how many dice is he rolling? I'm just gonna do that real quick. Okay, he he squeaked it out. It's a good thing he spent that willpower. He needed it. <laughs> Otherwise, I was kind of a girl. You're boy. you're you're a very res re resolved boy. Uh, so he gets a success, which uh, you are mesmerized. So yeah, uh, you really want pancakes right now. You really mm -hmm. want to go get pancakes. It's like it's, like, it's a very it's a very uh, persuasive thing you just said. Like, yeah, you, you realize you really do just want to go get pancakes. Mm -hmm. Bro, you could get chocolate chip pancakes. Super. Okay, so how is that like I'm going to go get pancakes or I just really want the yeah. desire to eat pancakes? <laughs> yeah, you're going to go get pancakes. Damn it. It, it, it sounds real. like it, he's basically like voicing your inner monologue here and you're like yeah yeah i'm gonna go pick can i argue with my bone 
Uh, I mean, if you want to yell at your bone, that's up to you. I mean, my angry yelling at my penis aside. I meant that my bone is protector, and the only reason why I'm still hanging around is just on the off chance something goes wrong. I, I don't know that you can, like, call upon your bone for something like that. And I guess I'm going to go get pancakes. Bone. You're free to decide where you're going to go get pancakes. I mean, where's the closest place for pancakes? I can uh, pancakes real quick. It looks like there's a Denny's down the street. <laughs> no, no, you said pancakes, not feces. Hey, no, no Denny's is actually Denny's good? good? I, I, or I always hear that one memed to shit, so I assume that it's trash. Den oh, wait, it's, it's, is... it's, kind of, it's kind of like a... Um, it's like it's the Taco a, Bell of it, pancakes. It's open 24 Oh, I mean, hours. so I mean, it still will cause you terrible diarrhea, but people will eat lots of it anyway. Yes, uh, yes. It's, if you were stoned out of your mind and you just decide at randomly at 3 a.m., Motherfucker, I want pancakes. You can go there for pancakes. I had, I had a, co a co-worker at my last job who always, like, whenever we got out at 11, he was like, let's go to Denny's. I and I was well, like, sure, because he was paying. Well, he said to go get pancakes. He didn't say how many or how long I had to get them. So I guess I'm just gonna... You'll get 50 pancakes. Well, it's uh, it's, right it's either gonna be two, so that it counts as a plural, or just a fuck ton, because when someone says you should get pancakes, your body goes, as many pancakes as can go in me. Or or because it's Yvonne, he's like, yeah, it's gonna be a fuckload of pancakes. Oh, I mean, it true. will be, but he'll eat it fast when we come back. Uh, sad. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Uh, let me see. Yeah, but sometimes you're just in the fucking mood for pancakes. We'll give him a minus two for already wa actually wanting pancakes deep. And, like, um, <laughs> what, what makes me is especially certain that's where it's meant to work is, like, there, there is a fighting style where you can spend a willpower and it gives you, um, three dice to your attack and also plus two to your defense. Which, you know, um, in this case, his resolve primal urge would be a defense equivalent. So, you know. And, and the special thing about that merit is uh, that it, it lets you have both of them simultaneously. It, it's not unlocking willpower to defense, it's just um, when you spend willpower in combat at all, you get both of them. Sure. Technically, through spinning that willpower, he would have failed it. So that would um, be made myself hungry for pancake. Page seventy-three. Yeah. The the willpower thing on page seventy-three of the World of Darkness two point oh call. You spend a point of willpower to add a three day bonus to most die pools or plus two. Resistance trait. Um, I'm not seeing where you can like add it when it's being used as a penalty. I mean, isn't that a resistance? I think mean, that's the point of a resistance trait rather than a resistance pool. Well, it's like yeah. if you're rolling uh, 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 stamina for anything. And you spend willpower, you can only add the plus two because it's a resistance. Okay, uh, I, let, I think that's the. Let let me get the thing from the fighting style because that one um, that one does have an example in it. So you know, I I, I feel like I should. Um... <laughs> I mean, also, we can just discuss this later. It you know, would be a bit weird to loop back now. I guess it'll only matter if something actually happens. What, like you could sick and die from the pancake? Yeah, it turns out no, there was actually a trap pancake. and the closest pancake it placed to here follows a special code word that when they turn up and they go, yeah, I need to get some pancakes and like a flat voice, they go, 
oh, of course, pancakes, is it? One second, and then you just, just dealt nothing but cyanide. No, I, 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 meant, <laughs> I meant, like, if for some reason everybody turns on you because they're just like, ah, you're too close to the truth. Destroy. We can't let the prince find out. Don't let him know too much. He'll get the gas. So as long as everything is boring and you guys just leave, it's completely fine. I thought you guys were leaving actually already. So could completely not matter. Waiting for third verdict on that. I'm looking it up here. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything. Back this up. I'm even looking on the forums and there's really no mention of using willpower to like resist dominate or anything like that. Uh... Surprises me because you think this would have come up. You know, as much as I love pancakes, I could honestly go for some SOS and stuff. I've made myself hungry. Suffer. Then perish. <sighs> There's only one really good uh, diner in this area, and it's always, always infested with old people. Do I like how you describe the visit infestation? What do you want me to describe <laughs> it as? A morgue of old people? A procession of elderly. I'm not sure what you call a flock of old people. A squabble. A squabble of old people. A menagerie? Well, I was gonna call them a morgue, but... Yeah, I I'm not seeing anything, so... Uh, Yvonne goes and gets pancakes. If we find anything about this later, we'll, that'll be for future reference. I already added it to the map. Uh, so, uh, everybody inside sticking around like another half hour. Nothing seems to have changed. I'm going to stay longer. Look, he doesn't really know what's going on, but he's just hanging out because it seems to be what everyone else Sounds like it's a boring church day as usual. Yeah, if no other vampires turn up of, of interest uh, and the target doesn't turn up, we'll leave. Okay. We can join uh, Yvonne at the 24 hour pancake. Yeah, uh, so Jesse gets up to leave. Uh, Eddie, CJ, and Lara leave as well then. Uh, I'm still talking to Eddie. Okay. Then we can talk about life and death. How about CJ? I'm hanging out around uh, Eddie. Okay. So Jesse absorbing, absorbing this conversation through osmosis. 
and finds that there is no Ebon outside. <gasps> what? I heard a sharp. Er, I heard a sharp intake of air. Fine. They realize that we're missing yeah, our we giant. Third being third, thirded away. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, Lara and and Daddy are still talking about something. And CJ's eavesdropping. Yep. There is a question. Does does Jesse decide to eavesdrop too? Um, no, no, absolutely not. Uh, I <laughs> already have enough people paying attention to me at the moment, and I just finished talking with a vampire, and you know, waiting for other vampires to come and go. I'm not getting involved with the dead man and the angel chick right about now, and their wizard friend. That's right, the dead man, the angel chick, and their wizard friend. I'm gonna just walk hey. past that group of people, and I'm going to have a smoke outside. I I am the only person who didn't have his splat spoiled to everybody else by Jesse. Hey, I didn't have my splat no. spoiled. No, no, I think I caught you. No, no one figured out I was a ghoul. Oh, no, 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 I mean, you, um... by... By, uh, by Justine. This is true. This is true. In the, in the session so far. You, yeah, you're no the one, one that's... Well, you and Eddie are, like, the least obvious. <laughs> anyway. Like, you make a joke about, you know, sucking blood or, you know, being a wolf -a boy Or being, like, crazy angel. Being Harry Potter. Yeah. There's all kind of Merlin. <laughs> Harry Potter boy and the Sorcerer's Stone. You haven't really done much, like, obviously magical yet, so... Just keeping that... under wraps. Anyway, like... regardless. Guards of Roulette. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna go look for for Yvonne in Pancake Town once I've finished having a few- just like, just fucking just chain smoking for a while outside. Sam, you're finished, Yvonne might actually be back. I don't know. I don't know, how many pancakes does Yvonne order? Does it matter? It doesn't matter when one can munch. Yeah, exactly. Norm. It's just a, uh, a, a, a flavor question. He, he gets as many as twenty dollars worth of pancakes. It's like, well, how just many pancakes does this get me? The lady behind the counter just sees him. What? Just sees Ivan wedge himself to the door, and she just shouts back to the kitchen, "Oh Lord, he!" Yeah, I already thought. I thought he already got kicked out of this Denny's. We have no syrup. <laughs> <laughs> he literally drinks it. I feel bad. He drank as a drop. Here's like a 50 stack of pancakes and a Diet Coke. Nice. Who, I require... coke with... who, who eats Coke with pancakes? I require butter, sugar, and water. No, seriously, who. who... Um, I mean, I will occasionally like... consume carbonated beverages with hot food. It's just like whatever your usual drink is with pancakes. I mean, normally I'd say that. The joke being that a lot of times really really obese people will be like I'll take one full cake and a Diet Coke, please. Oh. I need to watch my weight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you what, go looking for Yvonne? Yeah, we can. Or text them. Hear the sounds of munching. And you follow those. <laughs> yeah, I head towards a munch. You find him in a Denny's eating 
giant stack of pancakes. Ah. Mm. Uh, hey, Yvonne. Um, are you okay? I know that uh, Mr. Spooky Pants was probably a dick to you because, like, basically all vampires are like dicks to everybody. Um. Oh, yeah. That conversation about him made a very convincing argument for me to go get pancakes. Wait a minute, did I just get vampired? Uh, maybe. I feel like I'm not at liberty to say one way or the other, but probably. Uh, God damn it. No, at least I have pancakes. You did get pancakes with it, and I, it looked like he paid you for them. Okay, did you leave any, any for the rest of us? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's do it for that, that, that way. Well, yeah, no. Uh, continues to eat pancakes. Well, I'm assuming that the gap actually happened. No show on her uh, vampire girl. Yep. Hmm. Seems like we're gonna have to actually go out tracking. Time to put our detect pats on. Yeah, so the assumption is, because it's a, you know, newly born one, uh... It's hard to say. It's very likely that they're in this, gen like, their general area of the cathedral and living around here. Um, there are certain signs to look out for. Um, those I can't tell you, because they could be used to find vampires other places. However... Oh, hey, look. At least I'm coming about it honestly, which, you know, can't always be said for me. Um, I think size. so, like, big blackouts being put across windows, if you see anything boarded up, that's obviously a great big obvious sign, especially in a... Would you say it's a nice neighbourhood, uh, Lily? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, especially in a nice neighbourhood like this, boarded up windows, probably a little bit weird. Uh, no vehicles, um... Like, that typical, you know, you know that old typical, like, milk bottles left out, totally untouched thing? There is at least an element of truth for that. Look for, like, just shit left around or untouched. Does that even happen in this day and age? Well, I'm, I mean, not with actual, like, milk bottles, nobody does that, but, like, newspapers being left out, or, like, pumpkins leave being left to wither, like, that kind of shit. Like an untouched front porch. Fortunately, I didn't get a, get a good chance to pick up her sense either. That would have expired a lot of things. By the way, where is everybody else? Did they actually come here with us? I assume they did. They're like still in the church in deep discussion and, uh... Yeah. Oh, like an hour later, gonna look around like, Fuck, where did everybody go? <laughs> yep. Welp. Continuing on for now. Hmm. Hmm. So is that your plan? Look for, uh... Look for signs see. of, uh... What's the word? Uh, vacancy? Of oh, vampire Vampiring. Vampiriness. I don't know. Either way, I don't need to be asleep for another three days, so, you know. I wonder if vampires are a thing. Smash cuts the Caribbean. But no. Um, you want to go searching tonight, or... What was the, was the time frame for this little mission of yours? Jesse? Uh, sorry, I was thinking about pancakes. I'd, like, get up and start heading towards a stack of pancakes of my own. I didn't get vampired, I just realized I haven't eaten like fucking ages. Sorry, you were saying? Time frame on this mission. No fucking idea. Uh, I know vampires live forever and all like to be patient, but at the same time, one of them said something quite worrying, and that was that she looked like a certain type of, of vampire-y person. Um, one second, and she'll pause, order pancakes, and return. So she doesn't look like a complete weirdo. And she's also got just like a pot of coffee. She just pay for a pot. Clunk. I'm gonna say this whole secrecy thing is gonna get real annoying real fast if we're so It is. I don't know. I'm trying to think of a super simple way to put it together. Um, there are like different. It's not gonna mean anything. 
anything if he tells you, like, yeah, she's from the circle of the crumb. Yeah, yeah. Um, there are two people who are, like, different political groups, right? Lots of political groups, one big overall leader, but, you know, he still kind of leans towards one political group exceptionally heavily, right? I mean, that one's super easy to understand, I suppose. She looks like the kind of person who looks like she belongs in a totally different group. Uh, and I'm worried that they will actually try and snap her up, and that means mission failed. So although I'm not in a time frame, there's obviously going to be some competition going on, you know? <sighs> Alright. At least makes sense. Basically, I gotta make sure that she doesn't become a libtard. <laughs> <laughs> we have to keep her from turning the frogs gay. Turn the fucking frogs gay! But we also have to keep her from the alt right. That, oh, that is that. Hmm. So then, I suppose we should eat our pancakes, then hit the road. Yeah, I guess I. And also chug coffee. You should really watch your caffeine intake. Stuff will kill you, Yvonne says as he eats like four pancakes in one bite. Just squint. What? I'm a werewolf. That's yeah. And well, if you eat lots of pancakes from here once, at least it won't be constipation. Hmm. It's funny. No, seriously, where's everybody else, though? Uh, I don't know, they were kind of talking about, like, some real shit, so I skipped out. I have no interest in, I don't know, learning that stuff. I'm all up for learning what the afterlife is like, but, uh... uh... All this talk about Jeebus. First they were talking about... Uh... No. That's totally not my scene. Oh, fair enough. Alright, let's get going. Yep. Finish off pancakes. Finish off coffee. Uh, I will pour out a small miniature coffee cup for Itch to drink. Just like a little espresso cup with normal coffee in it. And he will, will will sagely sip the coffee. Squeak. Indeed. He throws on a little beret and hipster glasses. Hey. A little scarf. You, how dare you defile the mental image of Squeak. Vitch. I don't know where I got squeak, but I'm gonna sit in my corner now. Alright, so we're hitting the road and we're gonna look around where the church is situated. Werewolf senses activated. Okay. So you're gonna, like, check the neighborhood around? Yep. Maybe she is actually hanging out in the cemetery. I honestly wondered if I shouldn't transform into a small wolfo form. I say small wolfo, but it's going to be a big wolfo with Yvonne's body. I'm pretty sure you'd look like one of those dire wolves from the Game of Thrones. Yeah, and I wouldn't even be in dire wolf form either. That's the worst part. You should be no, a it... really thick wolf. Mm -hmm. We draw too much attention. The point... The point, the point was to use my senses while also being somewhat cognito, but that would not be cognito. Ah, woo! Big borker, too big. Too bork. Too much, ah, woo. There's only so much woo the body can handle. It is simply too much. However, venturing forth... Werewolf senses. Looking gather for some party event. before venturing forth. Actually, you don't have to gather your party before venturing forth. You guys can just venture forth. Your own party with blackjack and hookers. Hey. Hmm. So, uh, let's have you guys make some wits and composure check. Okay. Closure. Not nine. Jesus fucking Christ. Was composure you said? I will. 
Not you guys. The people actually looking around. I would <laughs> spend a willpower on that. I'm just wondering if I can call anything into this. Uh, I suppose a Vite hand might help. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's just I can hit my Vite on button. Sniff. Boop. Nice. Sniff. That's a good sniff. Nice. I've been sated by Dan Cake. An exceptional sniff. Good dog. I'm not a puppo. It turns out you're a better puppo. You say. Puppo. I put that. I put the hand. Yeah, it's true. I do put yeah. some serious get... handing into it. I'm Such not a... a dog. You say putting the the actual dog to shit. Sniffing around. You get such a good sniff, you undergo your first change. <gasps> <laughs> I was wolf blooded all along. I I should have I pulled an Etienne and been just a fucking wolf blooded ghoul, because that's quite fun. Congratulations, you're now Sublimario. Kiss No, it's a specific uh, bloodline. Mm -hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. So even though so, my sniff fails, you 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 get a you get a sniff, um, but Jesse, uh, you get a much better sniff. Uh, you, you do catch a whiff of something on the air. Uh, it smells like a mix of uh, cigarette smoke and vitae. Well, I sniffed my coat. It's not you. It's yeah. not your brand. <clears throat> not my brand. Different smokes, different Vitae. Yeah, she's smoking clove cigarettes, man. No! No, no one smokes clove cigarettes. Unless they're 15. Um, you mean, did you see her image? Pardon me, sorry? I mean, did you see the image of her? I wouldn't be surprised. We live in a place where she could just get weed instead. If she wanted to smoke something that wasn't a cigarette. Well, it was just bad. Hey, fun insulting that you put weed on the same <laughs> on the same tier. I mean, there is a reason it's called skunk. Uh, I I'm surprised uh, in the, the the image she's not smoking like a clove cigarette. That's exactly what we were just talking about. But okay, um, I am not paying attention because I am tired. That's totally <laughs> fair. I, I thought you were just talking about marijuana. I didn't. No, hear no, no, no. Uh, just like different brand. Uh, Ram joked that she's smoking cloves, and I was like, no, we live in a place uh, where she could just smoke weed if she wanted to smoke a not cigarette. No, like they still smoke cloves. Like it's just it's the it's the edgy thing. Like smoking weed is just smoking weed, but smoking cloves. Actually, now they do that for the flavor. Quote, actually. Unquote. Actually, now it's smoking e-cigarette. Oh, it's fucking vaping. vaping! One second, you can tell, but I was holding up a vape nation. <laughs> what, what, what is that? Like a... Uh, a V and then another V, but upside down with your hands. Okay. Like a gang sign. Did fucking Ethan start that, or was that always a thing? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's How did Vape Nation start? <laughs> uh, they threw up some gang signs. It is. Uh, it was made made infamous by Ethan of H and three H three. Oh my god! There you go. Originally, yeah. There you go. Ethan has his name to to Vape a Nation. There you go. Uh, that was great. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're like, uh, hold up there for a second. Uh, and on this occasion, I'm not very good at this tracking. Which way is downwind? I'll point which way downwind is. Awesome. Just make sure not to get your wolfness caught in the sniff trails. I, I smell a familiar smell, familiar and different, all at the same time. Smokes and some stuff. Vampire stuff. I smell edge. The edge. Smell. 
pepperoni pepperoni yes. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. Where? Where is the smell come from? All right. You follow the smell. Uh, it's down a, a few streets. Uh, but it seems to lead to a uh, small, like, one-story suburban house. All the lights are off. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go up to the door and just fucking knock. Why is this idea? They'll just blast off my shoulder and shark. This pancake place is way too far away. Who put this here? I don't know. Who's put, who's put pancakes? Oh, of course, of course. I'm gonna drag people. I just figured it'd be appropriate. We're gonna we're gonna go into the theater of the mind. Ah, one of my favorite theaters. Ah, you guys are, you guys are drawing. Oh. I don't know the scene. Laura are... was really big. I remember. Huh? Your token was like twice as big as everybody else's for the half ah. second that it was up there. <laughs> I was trying to uh, resize it, but everybody was drawing. <laughs> uh, d- damn you and your like wobbliness. Also, did you just <laughs> imply that Lucifer actually came up from hell to do a TV show? Because that's great. <laughs> Have you seen Lucifer the show? I know, but I mean, if he, if an actual devil came up to do um, a human TV show because he was bored. I, I liked the first couple seasons of Lucifer. I feel like I'm, they I'm, just I'm still really dragged upset it on that long. they canceled it. I'm it's really, back. I'm actually it's haven't. coming back. They, they, they found a they, new they, home. They, they, wait, they brought back, did someone bring back Lucifer? Yeah. Yes. It's why is no one tell? Why has no one told me this? <laughs> You've been told. I have actually told you. Oh, this just made my night. I'm not even joking. I love that show. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, so Yvonne and Jesse, you track it to a house. A one story. Lights are off. Hmm. hmm. Let's say, like, got a front door on it. Front door's like, like, bam. Okay. Nice. Uh, so you've done the outlines in the object layer, though. Yeah. <laughs> I just say that to warn you because I have then inevitably screwed myself when trying to move tokens around. So I'll drag yeah. mine back so that you can yeah. throw it into the map layer. Good. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna save you that eventual suffering. I always, always draw on the object layer. Wolf sense is still on, in case that they'd start doing the shuffle through the back door thing. Truffle shuffle. How dare you truffle shuffle, truffle my shuffles? Knocka knocka. Ah, uh, there is no response. Uh, excuse me. No response. Well, damn it. Um, let's have a look here. Uh, or, uh, no lights on or anything of that sort, right? Nope. Hmm. Okay. Uh, does the place look like it's been habited at all? Um, 
there's no uh, traditional signs like that the owners are gone. No piled up newspapers or mail or anything like that. Hmm. Um, okay. That would be a reasonable uh, assumption to say, yeah, savages. Want me to give a rather enthusiastic knock? God, no. No, we're here to make friends with this person, not to actually make them think that they're either robbed or under attack. Fair enough. And you're the one with the mission details. I was just derived from Realm for the Pancakes. That, you know, that's fair. Um, but no, <laughs> we, we would like to do this 100% friendly, and not just, like, friendly, but if it turns badly, I guess things have to be violent. But, like, I literally mean never any violence at all. Yvonne will give a thumbs up. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I will pull out a business card for my place. And then frown. Fuck, you know, I never carry pens anymore. I should do that. Yvonne, do you have a pen? I'm gonna... I almost want to roll a chance die. <laughs> Go for it, dude. <laughs> eh. You want to say it ain't a pen? I'm gonna say eight's a pin. Cool. Yeah. It's a success on a roll. <laughs> Not on a chance die, but on just a regular ten. I mean, you could have like one of those like dull like golf bowling pencils in your pocket. You know, the little ones that they give you to keep score. Yeah. Either way, hand over pin. I assume you put number down. Well, uh, uh, we'll I be will. That down. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a quick record on that. With, with composure. Me a wolf of Sento. Okay. Jesus, I rolled like one successes. I think. Yeah. It is a success. Okay. Uh, while uh, Jesse is writing that down, you think you can hear something from inside? Mm. Like Ooh. scratchy. Do you hear something going on inside? I'll uh, tap Jesse's shoulder and whisper in her ear that I do definitely hear something going on inside. Hmm? Oh. Definitely. Well, it's either them or a pet, but regardless, if they don't want to talk to me, they don't. But I will then lean down and Flick my card underneath the door. I want to make sure that I'm available to them. Um, don't want them to think there's anything fucky up. Kind of defeats the point otherwise. Well, it's your call to make. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's not like you make friends by going at it, like, trying too fucking hard. Or at least I don't. I'm not very good at that. Yeah, uh, I'll back away from the door. I'll give it a few moments, and if nothing happens, I'll make ready to leave. Uh, you can make it with some pressure. Sure. Flip. You also like hear like something kind of scratchy, like something digging through dirt somewhere. Interesting. Hey, itch. <laughs> Animal senses, activate. Oh, fuck. 
<laughs> it one. also hears something digging through dirt. Yeah, that's I'm weird. Gonna, <laughs> gonna look around the dirt, I guess. He, he peers at the door curiously. I'm gonna put my ears to the wall. You can get something up with them? Are they okay? Mm, no. Uh, roll another wits composure with plus one. I'll spend a willpower. Because okay. if I d if I don't retroactively, I feel like I'll just fail harder. Senses, watch. Wow. God, I've never seen somebody roll that many dice and still only end up with three successes. To be fair, um, that you are vomiting a lot of dice at that. I'm I'm rolling. Ouch! Pretty... All those oh, all those man. ones. That I'm rolling. I... <laughs> Yikes! I would point out that is one success below average, and not even a full one success. It's two thirds of a success below average. Of course, so but the sheer quantity but... of ones rolled is. Absolutely Play. outside the realm of possibility of, if, uh, of um, realistic. We are if role players. Flop. We don't deal with average. We deal with like what Extreme. we feel. Put it this way: I if you flop average. the requirements for what's a success and what's a failure, that'd be like eight successes. Oh my god! Well, I'm rolling like hot shit today, it, so but I'm not this... alone. If this were Old World of Darkness, where ones count against you, Ooh. <laughs> oh god, you'd have failed that hard. Well, that is what they would have called a botch. Well, what three successes get me, if anything? Um, there's something like something inside is digging through, or like scrabbling at some dirt. You, you almost hear like a whimper. Mm. Oh no. Something weird's going on inside. I th think I heard a small whimper. Here. If you, you're the one who's been the ace detective today. You put your ear to the wall. What? I'm not gonna... Could be something wrong. I just want to make sure. Uh, I really don't want to go breaking into someone's home just because they might be in trouble. That's a pretty good reason to break into someone's home. But it's only a mite. Well, that's why you want to put listen and make sure it's only a mite. Sure, and I'm gonna make sure I'm, I'm saying this this out loud, <laughs> uh, and I will. I'll, all right, I'll go up for a listen again, and fucking I guess I'll try. Uh, I'll throw a, a, a fucking willpower at it. I've got to know, but whatever. Uh, three dice. Oh, God no. fucking damn it. No, I can't. It, it, it's just scratching. You, you also hear like a whimper. Oh, that's not good. All right. Fuck it. Fuck this door up, Yvonne. Initiate door opening protocol. All right. Yvonne will walk towards the door and open it. He will not super punch it through he'll just like slowly force it until the door like cracks open all right roll strength and did, did we did we decide what there was i believe mm. strength brawl i think you wanted or... is, it, is it strength stamina for this that's what i would lean it should toward. be yeah, yeah I think that, that, that is what the that it, especially that's what strength performance calls for, DCR. Uh -huh. Yeah, let me uh let me look at strength performance real quick again. Yeah, don't you get like massive bonuses for bullshit like that? I do, but let me make sure, because it's been a while. That's fighting styles. Or strength performance again. In the heart lock of fighting styles. Oh, it's perform it's I was spelling performance wrong. That's why I could not control F it. One feats of strength plus two when using expression or intimidate, plus one to nonviolent feats of strength. See the rope quality to demolish structures. Double your effective strength to shift objects across a plane or a temple when it's 
on wheels or other fatigue. Uh, strength stamina, go for it. Yeah. I will strength and stam. I assume this is not shifting something, so I will not double my effect of strength. It is non-violent, so it will give me a plus one. Oop. Six successes. I guess my dice were just waiting for strength to come up to actually be good. Sir? Sorry, Hello? Just looking at this this thing. Ah. Uh, Mers linked. Getting getting booked on. Getting formed on. Oh, okay. I'm gonna open up Hurt Locker real quick. That rope has to be with the expenditure of willpower, doesn't it? Um which tier? Uh, second tier lifting, apparently. Uh, one attempt. Um. No. No, you. Um. When attempting a feat of strength that requires a strength stamina roll, you gain the rope benefit. Um. This doesn't aid in running, jumping, or combat rolls, but does aid in attempts to damage relatively immobile, inanimate objects. Oh. We'll just say that we don't need to go through all that. It's a door. It's an immobile inanimate object. Yeah, but I also got six successes. Fair. So it just cleanly pops its, its lock. I'll roll the root just because I'm bored and third is doing stuff. Yep. Oh, you got it. Sorry. Yeah. Success anyway. Yeah. The root was actually lower. But yeah. Pop open the door. There is little visible damage from the outside, and the lock is cleanly broken from the inside. What? 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 Fuck that door? Uh, yeah, you break the lock, yeah. 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 Go inside. Take a peek. Alright. Hey! Both the, uh, like, ha uh, door handle and the deadbolt just, like, splinter away from the wood. Oof. Uh, the interior, um, is a bit messy. Uh, not, like, m places trashed messy, but just, like... Not hoarder's level. Not to, um... Not too neat. Lives here. Oh boy, this uh, place could use a real good sweeping. There's like a, a, a kitchenette area, like a little mm -hmm. dining slash living room here. Um. Hmm. Bedroom. Where was that whimpering? And like, uh, stairway down. Oh, good. Uh, Apartments, like stairways. It's a house. We're in a. We're not in the. Um... Oh. Yeah, you're in like just like a level, oh, like one level house. That seems That's to have a basement. All right. We'll go check the basement. I'm sorry. Is there a door leading into like this area off to the side yeah, here? It's like a bedroom. Sure. In uh, the cellar. I'm gonna gonna peek in here. Okay. Uh, you peek in, and you definitely get like a whiff of that cigarette. Yeah. Smoke. Um. Whiff. Bit of a disheveled bedroom. Uh, looks like a lot of the wardrobe has been emptied out. Not the bed recently. Well, damn. Okay. What do I see uh, in the basement? Otherwise, not a whole lot. Uh, downstairs, uh, you see darkness. I have dark vision. 
That's not a thing. It's a werewolf, it is. You have, like, better vision in the dark. Yeah, I have night vision. Pretty sure. Where is you want to call me on vision that? in the dark. I, I just objected to it being called dark vision, because dark vision in D&D is stupid. I mean, realistically, yes, but a mm -hmm. lot of things realistically are stupid in D&D. &D. But it's dark like from the top of the stairs can't see much are you descending yeah uh as you descend the smell of uh freshly tilled earth gets stronger hmm um doot doot let's just add Draw a shape up here. There. There. First thing you see is just like, you know, shelves like you'd normally, like metal racks and shelves you'd see in a basement uh, filled with like. paint jars and the normal collections that appear in uh, uh, basements randomly. Um, wow. Okay. Wow, okay. roll 20. You are, you are dumb, roll 20. What's that? <laughs> uh, I, I search for dirt in the okay. roll 20 asset thing. I'm going to drag out the the top result. Oh, of course. That makes sense. Um, dirty Fighters. Dirty Diana. Is that the name of the, of the, <laughs> the chat? Yeah. Uh, At 16 a.m. Dirty Diana. <laughs> okay. Uh, go home. Roll 20 or drink. Apparently, werewolves do not have full dark vision. They just have all penalties from darkness rounded down. By half. And, like, you head down into the basement, and, like, the far end of this uh, place looks to have been dug up. Like, there's chunks of concrete all around. Like, something has, like, dug it up. Um, and there's a lot of dirt. And peeking out of the dirt, fucking coffin. Oh, hey, vampires do sleep in coffins. Way to be a stair. Oh no! Come on, they're not actually. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Miss? Hello? <laughs> I'm gonna go to this fucking coffin. What the fuck? You hear whimpering coming from within. Oh shit, fuck. Oh god, I'm underneath it. She okay? No, <laughs> definitely not. Wow. Oh. I'm gonna open this bitch up. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, there is a chain around it with padlock. Ah, uh, yeah. triple cocks. Yeah, please. Do, 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 gonna do, rip do. the chain apart? Yeah, I'm gonna rip the chain apart. Alright, roll to rip the chain apart. I'll even uh, use essence so that I'm in strength mode. Oh god, he gets even hench here. So, boop. Jesus. Crunch. That shit, that boy ain't right, I'll tell you what. Eight to crunch. God damn, all those tens. It was with rope. All of your successes for tens. Oh, except for that eight. <laughs> and that other eight. Actually, no, not all your successes were tens. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit disturbed. Quite a few of them were, though. Shrink feet's real good, yeah. 
Strength feat plus being a werewolf yeah. with lots yeah. of strength. Yeah, and and of, entirely specking your character. In the and one out of the pop. And out, out of the And out of the coffin pulled steel. So you oh pull open the uh, the chain and allows you to open the coffin. And inside is Dio. What the oh. fuck happened to you? Punk girl. Uh, nice to meet you, miss. Shit, fuck. Huh? Are who, who are you people? What are you doing here? Uh, I came looking for you specifically. Uh, I wanted to have a chat with you because I knew you were new to... I'm more thrown off than I thought I would be, actually, by, like... Bit. What's the deal with the coffin thing? You shouldn't be here. It's, it's not safe. Well, of course. It, I don't know. Uh, okay, in fact, <clears throat> obviously got on the wrong foot here. My name is Jesse, and this is Yvonne. <laughs> Yvonne is a giant slab of death. Hi, I'm a werewolf. <laughs> uh, she looks quite frightened at both of you. No, oh, no, wait. We're just here to talk. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, there's no reason for anyone to be feeling unsafe or in danger. Like, literally, nothing could. I'm pretty sure this man can take a tank shell. You don't understand it. It's not safe here. Don't you know what I am? Oh, um... Yeah, yeah, I do. It's cool. What? Wait, is that... Is that why you're in a coffin? Did you do this to yourself? How would you get the chains on? He did it for protection. Who is he? The one who nommed you up? Forget. Don't tell me she's coming at some kind of super dangerous bloodline. I mean, they're all super dangerous. They're all, they're all vampires. Money <laughs> search. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. The, the one who found me. After I changed no. the... He told me what I am and how dangerous I am, and... That's some fucked up movie bullshit. Who is this person? I know I know things are a bit scary, and you might be a, dis, uh, a little disoriented, but playing the pronoun game helps no one. I don't know his name. Hmm. Okay, then. Fair enough. Well, is if I'm getting this right... Jesse here wants to take you to... Other vampires who can help you control your powers and help you orient your orient yourself. You know, do something more constructive than locking you in a coffin. Vampire Hogwarts. Uh, Yvonne. Mm -hmm. Your werewolf ears pick up uh, footsteps from up above. Oh boy, someone's coming. Uh, you keep. Uh, I don't, what are you talking about? What, what do you mean? Here. I'm gonna go see who our guest is. Uh, you only get a few steps towards the stairs when you hear uh, feet on the stairs. I guess I'll meet him on the stairways. Uh, hello there. And the uh, girl, meanwhile, went from looking confused at like what you guys were talking about to looking quite frightened. Does the guy scare you as much? Uh, and down the steps. Um. Two figures. <gasps> oh, shit. They just, like, teleport behind me. Oh, that's great. Yeah, they're, like, coming down the steps. Oh, yeah. I meet them on the steps and go, like, hello. She looks pretty spooktastic. That's fucked. Yeah. Why did my token suddenly zoom in? What do you mean, why did your token suddenly zoom in? Yeah. I think I accidentally hit enter and it made my uh, token do oh. a little preview zoom. Alright. Wasn't there a bloodline a long, long time ago that had three eyes? Uh, I will be right back one second, guys. Okay. So... Of course, you must be RB as soon as the giant reveal. 
She's actually a pop star vampire. This was all a social experiment. <laughs> yeah, I blinked. Those are the vampire things I was expecting. Because I feel. If this moment was for real. Dun, dun, dun. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da -da -da. How dare. Okay. Okay. So yeah, Yvonne meets him on the stairs and goes, uh, hello? Ah, it seems we have guests. What are you doing in my home? Name's Yvonne. What's up? Uh, kinda heard some whimpering and we just wanted to make sure everything was fine. Your services are not required. Uh, okay. Don't know what services I'd offer. But, uh, assumed you're coming down for a friend in the basement. They take uh, some steps down as though, like, wishing to go past you. I will not stop them, necessarily. I did not see her being scared, so... Uh, guess we need to talk to you. Uh, incoming, Jesse? Uh, I have a feeling that these guys are fucking spooks. Um, miss, who are your friends? Uh, he's the one who found me, and... I think she's his partner. Okay. Um, excuse me, uh, sir and ma'am. Why did you lock this woman up? It's not cool. And also a coffin? What the fuck? This is not the 1800s. Oh, so that's not it? That's no! Not <laughs> no, it is not! <laughs> <laughs> You're so I'm not even a vampire, and I'm, like, actually, like, adjustment fit, like, just a little bit offended, at least. It is not as though we have to explain ourselves to you, but she is dangerous. Uh, no she fucking isn't. Uh, she's a One perfectly- One second, guys. hold on. Yeah, okay. What was that? There it is, BRB, again. So I wonder how exactly, what priority this mission from the Prince comes into. Well, if these two fall into any kind of vampiric hierarchy and you mention the Prince, I think they would fall in line. Though I'm getting a weird feeling in my gut that they don't care about the hierarchy. We don't care about the Inquisition. And those vampires that don't tend to care about the vampiric hierarchy are typically quite dangerous. I mean, ultimately, Jesse will be the decider. Yeah, I mean, obviously these guys are fucking spooks, and they, for some reason, are calling what she sees as a person a strange monster, and they chained her up in a coffin. Hmm. So, that seems to me very much not cool. 
And yeah, if they try to get much closer, I will probably get them. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to pull vampiric child, um, child custody. Yeah, no, yeah, quite literally. Like this is this is someone who has not been introduced the proper way. Even like I was a fucking cleaner for a short period of time, and even I know that like that that's this has not gone correctly for them. I mean, come on. At worst, you put a modern vampire in a duffel bag. Why would you put them in a duffel bag? Yo, they could make it work. I mean, yeah, if you cut them into pieces, fuck. I'm talking like a really big duffel bag. Like a travel bag. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen people wedged in those. I haven't seen anybody who isn't a circus performer. Yeah, but I can imagine a cleaner, if they have to like get people out, would just like haul around giant-ass duffel bags for that. Go and get your money. I'm pretty, and I'm pretty sure a, vam a vampire would deal with a momentary limb do dislocation of a med, making a clean getaway from a bill. Hmm. I don't know how this is gonna go. And I feel bad that this is just, uh... uh full of pauses. But it is the nature. The nature of the day. Yeah, nature of the game. Can't help. can't help what you can't help. Nature of the hench. You are... Yes, you are vampiric C uh, CPS, and you're take want to take her to Vampire Hogwarts. <laughs> vampire Hogwarts. As Valden quotes in the chat, where the Hogwarts Express, and you're late for your date with the Sorting Hat. Uh, God damn it, I got an itch on the part of my leg I can't feel. God damn it. Ouch. There's no amount of scratching that I can fix this. Dun, 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 yeah, I'm wondering how this is gonna go down. Like, I mean, I, I fucking fire silver bullets, but like, if that's neither of these guys is Bane, that's not gonna do any favors. It's okay. I make them sit in the timeout corner, and then we run. You can make them sit in the timeout corner. Sorry. I like. Oh, I'll like grab one, put them in the corner, and then run. Oh, like oh, quite oh, literally, oh, you oh, intend oh, to oh, lift and then place one of them. <laughs> place oh, one. I'm of pretty them. sure you can just bane one of them. I mean, wait. I'm not sure I can. I don't have any banes on me. No, as in picking him up and break his spine. Okay? Oh yeah, I can, like, I can do that too. But Batman I'm trying to, bane them. I'm, tr I'm trying to avoid doing that till full context is given. Or if they reveal themselves to be douche nozzles of the highest degree. Then the baning will shall commence. You merely adopted the spine cracker. I was born in it. Molded in it. By it. I was born with a cracked spine. <laughs> if anything, I should... Pr yeah, I was! I killed myself up with sheer muscles alone. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's going insane. Oh my god. I'm gonna pump another so, essence. Our, we have. We have. Um. Our, our dogs like to dick. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they like to get out. Right. Um. So, like, uh, when we replaced our fence, 
we kept the old posts and we just have them basically on the ground like in front of the fence so they can't dig under it you know yeah. it's like a, a blockade mm-hmm. um we have a, a, a section uh our garden area uh that doesn't have that because it, it it has been like ha- it's got like a little fence around it but for for a while now the dogs have been getting into that area and since it doesn't have like a little blockade underneath the fence, hmm. like they could potentially dig under and get into like the neighbor's yard. And we just got new neighbors and they got a dog. Oh, no. oh. So they really want to get over into that area. So we're trying to block it off so they can't get under there. At least they're trying to be friendly? No. No. Oh. They're trying to get over there. So we're, we're trying to block it off so they can't get in there. Um,. And we had like some chicken wire. I guess my brother took some of that chicken wire and tried to like block off one route they were trying to get in there with. And they decided uh, to dig under. Well, not dig under because he lifted the chicken wire up a bit too much. So they just crawl under it. Uh, um, well, but I guess he didn't realize how they were getting in there. Uh, hmm. so the other path into the garden. It's just this, like, sliding gate. You know, that we use to go in. Uh, he decided to screw it into the fence post. So we can't slide the gate to get back there anymore. So they just, the dogs just crawled under the chicken wire. And got back there and started barking up a storm. I can't get back there to fucking go after them. Mm. It's just like, what the fuck were you even thinking? answer is he wasn't he's just like oh we gotta block it off some way that's not even the way they were getting in and, oh my god okay I'm going to step right here give them give them uh some give them some personal space while knowing that the situation needs to be resolved first yeah move forward excuse me you two I was talking with my lovely new acquaintance here um although I will Add that our conversation continues to be distracted by the fact that you put her in a fucking coffin. What the fuck is wrong with you two? For her protection and those around her, of course. That's not how that works. There are people who can talk to her. And, like, just literally help. It's super simple. Train it again. Like, there's a- there's a- can help her. No, no, I don't even know who the fuck you guys are, and that's not true. At all. She is our child. You. Wait. Is that child with like an E on the end? Like child E? Like you made a. You you actually. You can hear the E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. (laughs) I'm like. like, What the fuck? Well, well, why the fuck did you. If you know that much, then why is. No, 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 no. That's not how that works. You may have made her, and I'm also very sorry, that sounds super rude. But why it, it, a coffin and dirt and chains? No, there are people, there's an Elysium, there are all members of the Night Society out there, happy to help and see that someone continues their own life similarly happy and free. Monsters that would seek to cloud her mind. As someone who's actually worked in child protective services, this is a big red flag. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> I've not worked in- that's super fucked up. So I'm gonna ignore you too. Cannot two. trust these abominations. Hey, you don't even know what I am, Thanks dickhead. Yvonne's, uh, shoulder. <laughs> Turn my attention back to lady. Miss, I we actually I haven't heard your name yet. Sorry, um, I don't want to keep like just pointing at you. But also, those two are fucking loco. You can tell, and it's because they don't like contract their sentences and they speak slowly like bad guys. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hey now, <laughs> let's not be too genre savvy. Well, no, 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 it's actually a red flag, right? Their humanity must be really fucking low. 
cut the genre savvy a little bit. A little bit. Okay, no. But, like, their humanity is mega <laughs> fucking low, right? That's it's, it's more, it's more what I'm trying to posit. If they're talking like that, they're probably a bunch of low humanity weirdos. <laughs> they are not in touch with their with their sides, but whatever. Lalu's, Lalu, Lalu's feeling attacked right now, and she doesn't have humanity. She has angel manatee, and it's different. And when when <laughs> you like ask her uh, name, she's just like Hannah. Uh, I mean, it's a pleasure. Well, it's it's nice meeting you specifically, Hannah. Um, and I'm very sorry that you've been put in this awful position. Uh, and instead of listening to these two weirdos, um. Do you want to be chained up and left in a horrible coffin, or would you like to go to a bar and chill out for a bit? I mean, I'd like that one, but I don't want to hurt anybody. You don't have to hurt anybody, it's super duper simple. Um, I'm like a, I guess a worker, I work for people with similar thirsts and tastes to your own, uh, and cater to those requirements occasionally um but there are like whole loads of people that you can like anonymously enjoy do not seek to poison her mind i'm going to say as somebody who's worked in child protection services this is a situation you need to get out hannah uh, both both of these people they, they have slits like above their forehead mm -hmm. and as like this conversation continues like they start to open up, and you see that they each have a third eye. Whoa, what the fucking oh, shit fuck? Hell no. Just, hmm. uh, just for better. That is some next level fuckery. That is not vampire that I am used to. What the shit? Wait, is that not normal? <laughs> what are you talking- Come on, you know what vampires are supposed to look like. No, I don't. You don't tell me anything. I mean, they're supposed to look like- Like, even movie vampires, more vampire -y than that shit. None of them are triclopses. Uh, for the sake, I'm. Or well, maybe there are triclops vampires. Honestly, I don't know myself, but that is a surprise to me right now. Sorry to be r extra rude, but uh, could you close your eyes for the sake of everybody's comfort? <laughs> oh, is oh, Hannah gonna get a triclopsy? That's not. That's mean. Uh, you want to take a look at her? Yeah. I mean. Excuse I mean, me. Yeah, like, excuse me, sweetie. Have you got a got a triclops thing going uh, on up there? Under that uh, fringe of hair, uh, there's definitely like a slit. Oh. Hey man, Tien was cool. Hey, that's cute. Hmm. That is really like I, I pro I'm gonna assume I've never fucking seen this shit before in my life ever. Oh no, it's weird. Yeah, that's not usual <laughs> vampire -y stuff. Well then. Why the fuck did? Uh, okay. Uh. There are, I have too many questions all at once, and I'd only have so much snark to ask them in like a snarky way, and I'm running exactly. out. You have, you see, Hannah. They have no idea who or what you are. They cannot help you. Uh, only we can help you. This doesn't look helpful, though. This looks like you've told her that she's a monster and trapped her down in a basement in a fucking coffin. She needs to learn to control herself. Uh, the simple matter of mind over matter. I all right, sir. I to echo matter. Uh, the DM talking there, but all right, sirs. I'm gonna have to say, uh, this situation is a little too uncomfortable. I think we need to like at least take her to some sort of authorities, vampire authorities. We uh, are the authorities. Mm. Uh, are you, uh, would you call yourself kindred? We. Rise about the king. Ah, uh, they aren't authorities, Yvonne. Uh, they're weirdos, definitely. Like an asshole prince. I bet you knew something about this as we, well. We seek to cure everyone of the ills of kindred kind. Pardon the ship fuck out of me? Do they react once you mention the prince? That was more some self-muttering, but it's a good question. Sorry, what was... The uh, I, I was muttering uh, about the prince. Uh, they... Uh, the female kind of... Uh, 
twitches a little bit at the mention of the prince. She gets a little, uh, you can see she gets a little angry. Look, how about we do this the diplomatic way? We can have Hannah talk to the other group, I guess, and see what they have to offer her. If it's a lot more of a healthy alternative, then I think Hannah will have the right to decide who she needs to learn from to control herself, as you say. Oh, put it. Right now, you're not making diplomatic group would be would be for you to leave our home. Mm. Go upon your way. You have no authority here. I mean, it's totally inhumane to chain someone up in a basement. I had wind and, uh, At that point is when another a voice will chime in. That voice is. Kool Aid Man busts through the wall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I sure hope it's vampire back up. Uh, actually, yeah, it's uh, feet on the steps. Uh, and. Oops, I keep going wrong. Map. Nicholas Cage? <laughs> what are you Nicholas doing? Cage, I knew it. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell no. Actually, it is you that has no authority here. Uh, the two uh, three-eyed vampires kind of instinctively like back away. <gasps> and even you, Yvonne, like instinctively take a step back. Whoa! Oh no! Yeah, like this because... is just like you. You sense something. You sense an alpha coming down the steps. The f like I said, what Prince, and he turns out like I might. Uh, shit, fuck. What? Would that work if they're not vampires? Some people I'm, just exude. Some people are just beasts. Y even you have to take a step back for uh, fucking Morgan Freeman. Oh, wait, if it's actually Morgan Freeman, of course. Uh, I mean, sometimes it's he not just... actually Mor Morgan Freeman, but the token is Morgan Freeman. <laughs> you, you can kind of... Some people you can just sense a certain level of quiet power and authority, and it just kind of forces you to back down. I know I mean, that very well. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna say Yvonne Max down. I'm just gonna say with the way the book always reads things, unless they're within the same splat, your immediate reaction is, "No, I'm better. Shut up." You see, Zhao, you came into my territory and embraced without my permission. So your authority has ended. This child is not yours to command, not yours to, as you put it, poison. Evil's gonna kind of like step back and whisper or to Jesse, yeah. are these guys Invictus? That's not a thing. I've uh, never said Invictus, and they definitely aren't. They're the Carthians are the Elysium of this of this um, city, not the Invictus. No, are the are these guys with you? You're looking at. Motherfucking Lord of the Vampires in this place, and right hand motherfucking Lord of the Vampires. Mm. This suddenly became like a lot to deal with. Mm. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna offer Hannah a hand. <laughs> yeah, she will shakily take it and get out of the coffin. Yeah, I'm gonna sit in the corner with Jesse, I guess. <gasps> It itch will will climb onto Hannah's other shoulder, ever the the great beast of protection and majesty, and womanizer. <laughs> Squeak! He pulls out a tiny AK and puts on a uh, a uh, helmet. William uh, Bell steps further into the basement, and you get this whiff of uh, like a floral scent. Uh, Perhaps uh, lilacs or something of the sort. <laughs> he says, You broke many rules in the past few weeks. Firstly, entering my... Entering the city without announcing yourself. Claiming territory as your own. Embracing a child without permission. And that's not to mention the rules you've bro broken amongst your order. 
Perhaps the dragons would like to know your location. I'm sure they have many interesting things to discuss with you. How many chantries have you burned down? On your tour across China? Uh, <laughs> Shit! You can't get this... Like, the smell of lilac seems to get more intense. Yeah, you I'm, uh... Start to realize you can, you can smell emotion right now. Yeah, no, uh, I am going to try and uh, sidle walk both Yvonne and Hannah, like in the direction of the stairs as circuitously like against the walls as possible yeah B Boyd uh, notices you and uh, kind of ushers you forward y yeah yeah <laughs> I had <a> slow nod <laughs> sidling out <laughs> I just... guys out back a little further away William Bell steps forward And uh, Boyd will allow you to up the steps. Hannah will just like follow you like a like, scared animal. Yeah, yeah. I imagine to 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 vampires right now, this is a fucking bouquet of terror. Uh, even to Yvonne, like you, Yvonne, you can smell the fear coming off of them. Mm, mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna go upstairs. You walk through. You walk through them to do it. What yeah, the fuck? Okay. That's too alpha, though. <laughs> this is not actually like one to one the direction of the stairs. They were coming in from uh, here. I'll, I just like. I just like. Go, excuse me. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go upstairs now. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> All right. And upstairs uh, is another person waiting. Hmm. Man, if any more people show up, I'm going to start thinking we're in the Indian soap opera. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a big deal. It is time for us to continue on Walk of Fucking... Oh, hi, Diana. Who's Diana? Oh, hi, Jesse. So uh, this is the uh, thing uh, Prince sent you on. Uh, she has a name. Thank you. Very rude. Uh, she like gestures to the house and like downstairs. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a, a an actual coffin, Diana, a coffin for fuck's sake. I've heard worse. Yeah, I know, but it's it, whatever. <laughs> I've seen. I've also seen worse. Uh, so, hey, uh, she will like greet the third party very warmly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. Yvonne, Diana. Diana, Yvonne. Uh, I promise he's cool. Hi. Hi, I'm Yvonne. I'll wave. <laughs> Diana, hey, Charmed. Yeah, I wouldn't go downstairs if I were you. Tensions, uh, ramping oh, yeah. the wheel up. I'm just here to collect, uh, this young thing. I could put him in a coffin, are you? Oh, no. Oh. Uh, let her know what's up. You can come along if you'd like, if you if she feels safer. Just to make sure she gets a a safer, a more saner change of scenery. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll look to Hannah. Do you want the continued company? Yeah, she didn't know who the fuck these people are. She didn't know who you are either. But that's true. But I at least gave them all a name, and and, and I'm trying. I'm trying to do that thing and keep this person yep. from having a yep. fucking breakdown. In <laughs> fact, let's have you roll. Okay. Um, presence empathy? I can get Or would it. you prefer manipulation empathy? Uh, no, presence empathy is fine. Uh, I have a mask of calm. Does that do anything for me in this situation? Um. If you succeed at it, you can get a willpower back. Okay, cool. Uh, does me being a sexy beast do anything for that as well? She gay. Mm. Is what, she uh, e interested? Two dots, striking looks, or four dots? It is two dots of sexualized, the ghoul version of basically oh. striking looks, but sexualized is definitely if, like, I would have to be on her gaydar. Activate yeah. gaydar. Yeah, you can add that bonus. Cool. Oh. 
And you know what? I'll spend a willpower. It's going to get ticked back. Regardless, but I can always hope for better. Yeah, two successes. She seems a little bit more at ease with you, so yeah. Cool. It's because I'm warm. And I also just a bit chain smoker. Well, let's blow this popsicle stand. Go get a nice drink. And, uh, we can get on doing what, uh, this cult was trying to do. I'm almost sad. Didn't even get to throw his punch. You didn't get the throw punch? I mean, it, you know, it's best not to be around. Yeah. Pointedly at the door. I mean, the coffin guys deserved it. So, you guys head out, and there's like a car waiting. A uh, uh, limo. So here's my question. Does this mean they knew where they where she lived all where she was all along, or does that mean we were followed? I don't know. That's Squint a question you could ask. Yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna say like, did you guys know where she was all along or were we followed? Uh, I just caught the call like 10, 15 minutes ago. Showed up. I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to assume we were followed, otherwise there was no point of us getting the job in the first place. She, uh, like, motions for y'all to enter the, uh, limo. I'll glance, but like, ah, dude, be careful, it's, it's... Wait, you guys came in a limo? I glance over at my van. <laughs> I think you guys walked here, didn't you? Like, from the... Oh, right, you're right. I walked to Denny's and left my van parked at a church. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, okay. I will still be like, a limo, really? Yeah, he travels in style. Uh, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. You know, yeah, I've man. I've just realized he's probably not going to be fond of the whole smoking thing, is he? Yeah, it's generally a no-go. Yeah, uh, I will <laughs> just pull out my... I don't know, like three packets of cigarettes and just fucking just dump them out of the car. <laughs> I can get more. She uh, opens up a compartment and pulls out several glasses. Uh, she pours two. Uh... What do you. You look like a whiskey and coke guy? Mmm. I'm going to decline after the events of last night. Oh yeah, I, t I took them out drinking very hard. Um, just whiskey. Oh, okay, you can... Oh yeah, no, I, I was fine. They're all worses. Pours one glass of coke and... <laughs> A glass of whiskey. No, no. Make, make that too. <laughs> what Jesse said. <laughs> and for... Um... Hannah, she pulls out a... A juice box. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> pours a uh, red liquid from, like, a, a mixer. Out. You'll, you'll be needing this. And, yeah, you, you get the whiff of uh, not just blood, but Vitae. Uh, yeah. Jesse. Yeah. Uh... I I will I will try not to eye fuck the glass that she's holding. Uh, itch, however, will totally eye fuck the glass that she's holding. Anna will go home. Squeak. Carefully take a drink and then another. Does it appear that it tastes really good? Yeah. I'm gonna sniff the air. Is that blood? Oh yeah. Hmm? A hell of blood. Oh, okay. I thought it was Kool-Aid. I was black and the showing it. <laughs> oh, five minutes later, while you guys are all like, settling in, William Bell and Boy Davis join. Oh, hey. Uh, 
William takes the far end of the limo, basically all to himself. Yep. I'm Boyd gonna... sits uh, close by, but still giving him his space. Yeah, gonna gonna pat even on the leg and like I even I do not play cool mouth with him. I am a hundred percent all the polite. Think ev- I mean, think what? every scary movie person and just think that this is not someone to speak lightly of and will be great. I mean, I'm not gonna be rude to him. I just want to know if we were being followed or did he always did he already know uh, Hannah was there. Fair question, but not something we need to know, I guess. I was saying that out loud, by the way. Yeah, exactly. That's why she's going. It's a, it's a fair question, but also like we don't need to fucking know that shit. <laughs> That's their business, dude. Uh, a small smile comes to Prince's mouth. I apologize for the circumstances. Uh, yes, you were followed. We needed a bloodhound on this. No offense meant. And uh, then. Je- not absently towards Yvonne's. <laughs> it is ironically <laughs> the least most offensive wolf thing I've heard all night. It is true, that guy was probably a bit of a dick. And he doesn't even. Like, he's not even saying bloodhound because of Yvonne. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. It's not even a dig. You just it didn't take it. Exactly why I was like, I've heard worse things tonight. Yeah. Whereas I was like, I was the bloodhound trained one. Oops. <laughs> this is where you learned that Jesse was a, was was actually quite good at being a cleaner. <laughs> we knew that Zhao came into town and had embraced. Our young miss here. He nods towards Hannah. Illegally, of course. But we did not know where. And then you came along with your little letter. So we saw the opportunity. Apologize for any subterfuge. I'm not going to say anything, but I don't fully believe that. Specifically, the apologize for subterfuge part. That's what I mean. Yep. Shall I drop you off at the church? Yeah, I, I, I believe I, your I friends are still in there. Yeah, I, I bet they're Gotten... still in the conversation. I believe Boyd has received a number of calls from the Lance inside. Boyd nods. Uh. (laughs) Got a few calls about a scary looking uh, werewolf staking out the place. See, that's, see, that's see, that's not even racist and it feels racist. Sorry about that. I didn't know that there was a potential to be spooking people. Didn't realize re- what? Sorry. That there was a chance that there would be any spooking of people going on. I'll apologize to the Lance personally. If anything, you should be apologizing to me. I resent the fact that he automatically assumed I was up to no good. Yeah, but I should have. Ass- <laughs> I guess I should have assumed that he would automatically assume that, and you know, people got needlessly spooked and scared, especially the considering Lance it was a place of God. Lance would definitely appreciate your apologies. And yeah. He looks also, at Yvonne. But you are not of my kind. I have no power over you or where you go. Look, I told him I wasn't going to do anything. In- to harm him. I'm just a little sore that he assumed I was up to no good. It's racist. Possibly. But they were conducting their secretive rituals. 
having a predator outside set tends to set the the mind on edge. He gives you a toothy grin. I I indirectly put a scary guy in their happy place. <laughs> no. There's nothing I like more than the Lance being uncomfortable though, so He is kind of a dick. By the way, anybody you want to explain to me exactly why werewolves versus vampires is a thing? Huh? Why werewolves don't like vampires and, va and vice versa? Uh, that's a good question, I I guess. Glance at uh, Boyd and Diana. <laughs> I mean, they say it's a territorial thing, but that doesn't even make sense. They don't hunt the same things, and werewolves have very little interest in politics most of the time. We don't hunt the same thing, so you have no interest in the humans in your territory. It's actually a big... I wouldn't say that, but... It's a you do big not role. wish to care for them and make sure that they are hale and uh, healthy. I mean, we do, but as far as I understand it, <laughs> it's a big no-no to just endlessly slaughter and kill humans. Ah, and so you don't see why werewolves would think we do that exact thing. Because, I mean, of course, popular culture has never painted vampires in a negative light in the past, have they? I mean, it does the same for werewolves. Oof. I mean, the point is, thinking logically, of course you can't cause too much chaos. That's how you get the humans coming down and hunting you en masse. Ah, logical thinking. It is... Uh... <laughs> Of course, humanity would think logic. Logical thinking, the the hallmark of humanity. Yeah, that, that's... Like the yeah, okay. All I'm saying is it's a little surprising to me that in all these years, none of us just sat down at a table and said, hey, how about we just don't? I believe that is why we are here today. Well, I'd be lying if I said that wasn't part of it. Group of... Uh, notice. Uh, at this point, you notice, like, the letter peeking out of his breast pocket. Yeah. That's why we're here today. A group of people who sat down and decided to talk. So if relying on emotion. I apologize. But that is neither here nor there. Yeah. We shall see you to your destination. And Miss Hannah, we shall find you new accommodations. And teach you the basics of your new life. I apologize for what Zhao has done to you. But nothing can reverse the fact that you are now a vampire. But this is not the end of your life, merely the beginning of a new one. And he will point to the other vampires. We have all made new lives. So can you. Now, Miss Jessie. If you would like to accompany us further, you are allowed. But if you'd like to leave with your friend, uh, we'll, we'll stop outside the church. Tell you what, yeah. um, Yvonne, can you let the other guys know what's happened here? And also, please take my van, <laughs> and I will hand him my keys. We'll take the keys. I won't be hanging yep. around long. I'll be getting an Uber back to my place in, I don't know, a few hours or so. Will shrug and say, ah, keep your head on your shoulders. Uh, yeah, and all my blood inside me, hopefully. And I'll get out the car. Okay. So, Yvonne gets out of the car, back at And Limo beats off.
Hmm. Didn't know how to read those guys. But I don't think they'll hurt. Uh, they'll hurt Jesse. All right. I guess I walk back into the church and I find my the rest of my friends still t nerding out yeah. about <laughs> exactly. about the about the afterlife and Jesusing around. Yeah. Actually, not by this point. I don't believe you. Uh, We're actually uh, someone I, mentioned we, a we weapon. Played out, we played out the in, well we t we played out the entire conversation. We, uh, we got yeah. to the point of agreeing that you know, we were going to eventually go to Eddie's place, and then I looked around for Jesse. <laughs> I apologize that you guys miss out on all of that. We are contemplating going to a Sheets or something. Sheets it's fine. Appar apparently they, they entertain themselves. Anyone else hungry? Uh, so, directly inside the church, Ivan, uh, is Alexi. He's got <gasps> his arms crossed with a slight smirk on his face. I, I, soon, I walk How up to him. How are the pancakes? I walk up to him with finger guns and rapid fire say, already got the pancakes, talk to the prince, about to be here, he's got to call you, get him to meet my friends, you're walking out now. He grins. <laughs> Go ahead. Go back over to the pews and say, hey guys. Yo. Oh. Where did you go? Yeah, we, we kind of... Where we kinda, did you go as well? Like, at least two hours ago. Ah, uh, about... For you, yeah, maybe about an hour. For Jesse, maybe like... 40 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, everything is taken up and wrapped up now. So, uh, yeah, we can go back home now. I got Jesse's keys and, uh, I need to take your van back. I think Jesse is about to get promoted. Oh, that sounds promising or dreadful. Well, let's all start getting home. Indeed. Come, CJ, cousin. You know what? Wait, what? Um, I still got some chat in my house. <laughs> yes. The hour is late, but... Uh... Oh, CJ, you expressed a desire to meet with Justine again. Shall we convene tomorrow at the road leading to Eddie's estate? Sure. Works for me. And it works for me. Okay. Guys, head out. So, you guys are heading out. Uh, Jesse, uh, you get to ride with them as they're given the whole life as a vampire speech, uh, which you probably never heard before. Yeah, no, I've never heard this speech before, so I sit and I stay fucking quiet and occasionally uh, sip my whiskey. They're, they're basically giving Hannah the rundown on what... Uh, what being a vampire means, uh, controlling hunger, and she will chime up like sometimes, like that's sort of what uh, Zhao and the other lady were talking about. Yeah, but you do it not in, in the middle of a coffin. 
So he's doing his black Dumbledore thing. Sure. What? Dumbledore never really taught, so yeah. not not in the movies or books. Use. But new that seems to. Yeah, I don't like the transition between new movie Dumbledore and for some reason just a shitty old man with a ridiculous wizard appearance. Oh, man, like he went from looking like a <laughs> suave motherfucker to just like psychopath grandpa receives money on the side of the road to feed his homeless unicorn. Wait, <laughs> what? What versions are we talking? Are we talking about like, like Jude Law, uh, Dumbledore versus new Dumbledore or like old Dumbledore? One what? second. Yeah, I uh the the Fantastic Beasts Dumbledore versus um Michael Gambon Dumbledore. Okay. Yeah, I I feel like it's weird to go the other way. Like how how does? Yeah, I don't know. Wait, I I'm not see. I'm so confused. How, how did how did One hipster second. wizard go to? Yeah, hat, yeah. Hair. Like, like, how do, how does this this <laughs> cool son of a bitch become Albus Goddamn Dumbledore? God damn, he's like, look at that fucking dude, Jude Law. <laughs> but hey, the unfortunate that's... reality is, it's just J.K. Rowling making um, shit up as she goes along, and she's a... eternal consistency. Well, well, I mean, she's a crazy, crazy Scottish bitch, but <laughs> J.K. Rowling went for the. The classic wizard aesthetic, so it's more like the Fantastic Beasts guy going like, huh. no, no, wizard. she uh, she, she is, did all of she it. She is the screenwriter, screenwriter, but not Beasts. uh, not uh, like costume yes. designer. She's in charge of it, but not the director. The director like, wishes he had a say. No, seriously, she is a crazy Scottish bitch. Uh, I have her. I don't okay. think like she is the one like coming up with all the like costume designs and all that. She is by I don't think she is. Uh, until you I, show I me like at, at 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 the very least they they have to run them by her. Um, yeah, running by stuff by J.K. Rowling. Of course you're gonna get dumb shit. She approved the fucking the dumb. Uh, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, an abomination. So, I liked old Grandpa, um, Grandpa, uh, fucking Dumbledore. I don't even like lizards. Oops. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'll agree with crazy Scottish bitch, man. <laughs> but I, I, did, I do think it was just a case of like matching the, the movie's aesthetic. But anyway, uh, we'll, we'll call the session here for the night. Okay. Right. Um, you, everyone's kind of headed home or headed off. And, uh, yeah, call it here and deal with aspirations. Um, so, CJ, uh, you definitely scored, uh, help scout out the church. You, were definitely hey. out the church. You, you didn't do much outside the church. <laughs> So you my, definitely my helped scout out the church. Was to help with the vampire. Yeah, good. good. <laughs> you chose. You chose wisely. <laughs> uh, so you score that for a beat. Um, Eddie. Mm. Uh, uh, hold on. I think CJ. CJ probably deserves a plus and find something beyond Lalu's comprehension. Oh? I, I yeah, wasn't really following along with your guys. Know the... yeah, she doesn't um... know the... Or at least... We're headed towards... She's, like, misinterpreting what Eddie... Yeah. Or like, misunderstanding. Currently, currently uh, Yalu thinks Eddie is another demon. Um... 
but he's not, and as soon as, like, there's more research done okay. into that, it's going to just be a thing of, what are you? You shouldn't exist. I'll give you a plus then, CJ. Find Perfect. something outside Lolly's comprehension. Uh, Eddie. Yes. Yeah, prepare for the three's arrival. Invite your friends over to safe house. Well, you that's what you guys were like finalizing, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll give you another plus in that. Uh, I'm getting everyone out. over for a great big ass barbecue. Yeah, what's going on? Told to Justine's. Uh, no, you guys haven't uh, interacted with Justine in a while. So. That's what I'm planning to go over there. Uh, Yvonne, uh, you definitely scored help Jesse with her mission. Thank you. You got that for a beat. Nice. Only a beat? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Jesse, uh, you definitely scored locate the vampire who needs recruiting. Yep. For a beat. And Laura, um, I didn't do anything on of my own. Yeah. I just contributed to others. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, good role play overall. In fact, I, I'll give everybody three beats. End of session. Just oh, for okay. good role play. Mm. Cool. That brings me back up to two experience to spend. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Same, uh, actually. And next session. Uh, so there's no clear set goals at the moment. So you guys can freely find something to pursue Party. by yourself until such a plot line surfaces. So if you'd like oh, to... Got the... I'm planning to check out the... Try and do my, like, Scanny check out on the uh, fake Justine. Yeah, I was about to say we and still have And then okay. heading out to heading out to Eddie. Learn about immortals. Hmm. We still have the issues of the, the Justines. Maybe score me some neato burritos. Arcane beats. So yeah, just uh, keep keep all that in mind for next sesh, and uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was a lot of fun today. Thank you for running it. Yeah. Yep, thank you as usual for running, Lily. And if you're watching in the yep. stream or you're watching in the VOD, I hope as usual that you will have yourselves a lovely <laughs> motherfucking good time. Bye, stream. Bye, YouTube. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Please do take care.